Okay. Yeah, the spacing. I think the first one. Uh, remove the uh, like the first. Remove the first line and keep this um, in the first line. The dash. The hyphen one. Yes, and under that you keep the name. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's do the send. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead here only. No, I was thinking let's uh, do with the server machine and then come here, but that's okay. I think this is the syntax, right? Yeah, is that uh, like? Did you execute it, Ramesh? I once again, I'm just cross-checking it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, the name should be under hyphen. That's fine. Name and host should be at the same line, and then task also should be at the same line as host. Yes. Name and command should be in the same line. I think this is fine. Let's go ahead and commit it. Enable the continuous integration. Yeah, yeah, I have done that. Okay, fine. I think it got executed successfully. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so I think that was about the syntax error. Okay. So this is how you can go ahead and uh, execute the Ansible commands. Okay, so can we see the output? Uh, you can see the output in the run playbook um, task. Go ahead and click on run playbook. Yes. Yes, scroll down to the end. Yes. Okay, but uh, date 
turned on where i can see it okay. yeah hello that will be done in your uh, ansible machine usually we have not given the output variable that's the reason we are not able to see the output uh, we can make use of out variables in um, ansible so that you will see the output as well okay so for now we can see output only in the ansible machine right yes in the ans ansible machines okay so in the sense ansible got installed in this machine and all right so we can say output only here yes yes right okay when you get the success uh, uh, like if you want to see the output about the command what is getting executed like your date if you want to see the date then you can also do that uh, using the variables file or the outputs file um but now we are going to use the ansible machine which is already there and the ansible is installed in that that's where uh, your uh, control will be passed on pass, passed to that okay yeah okay okay uh, go ahead and uh, use the pipeline for a script as well uh, this is a simple script what we saw um, go ahead and explore all the other stuff as well what we have discussed so that in case if you guys have any uh, doubts regarding executing the ansible uh, script you can come back to me so that we can see that in the class as well okay but overall uh, if you want to integrate azure, uh, ansible in azure devops this is how you can go ahead and uh, use that task okay so usually what happens is um, you will have to use that particular task which is called as ansible and execute your commands the scripts okay not only with aws uh, you can go ahead and create uh, the ansible scripts with azure as well okay and also you can club these two tasks as well in case uh, if you want to make sure that you are creating an infrastructure in terraform and you want to call the ansible uh, next the first task should be to execute your terraform scripts and then the next task should be your ansible okay so right now we have we have seen only adding one of the tasks that is your ansible but you can go ahead and add multiple tasks as well to have the integration in place okay so today let's go ahead and see about jenkins okay so jenkins is also an important tool which is similar to your uh, pipelines but pipelines are much more easier in terms of uh, the user view and the look and feel as well because whenever you come to the azure pipelines it it will give you much more uh, detailed step on how you can go ahead and make use of different tools like you have tasks if you want to integrate terraform you have tasks if you want to uh, integrate ansible you have tasks so all third party tools you have tasks in azure devops to get in place okay but what happens is whenever you are dealing with jenkins you have a separate thing which is called as plugins and we will be performing all the actions by adding the plugins okay so usually the tasks here in jenkins jenkins will be called as plugins okay so let's go ahead and understand jenkins first and then we would be creating one more project uh, as jenkins in azure devops and see how to use the jenkins tasks as well because jenkins is itself uh, is a um, substitute for not substitute it's it's equal to the functionalities that your pipelines is also doing so you can see the jenkins uh, addition whenever you are creating a pipeline right so whenever you create a pipeline you see an option uh, like whenever you create a re release pipeline you see an option to add the artifacts right so in the in the in that place you will also see to add the jenkins artifacts as well so for that let's uh, go ahead and click uh, click on artifacts add just to show you how uh, your jenkins will be visible in the in here yes click on five more artifact types 
So here you can see the Jenkins Jenkins off option, right? So uh, as uh, like as we are discussing, Jenkins is a separate server because it is a independent tool. We will have to uh, make sure the Jenkins is installed in a server, and then that server URL we will have to add in as a service connection, like how we did for Ansible. Only then you can see the jobs that are present inside the Jenkins server. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the installation of Jenkins in Ubuntu server. Okay, I think the server is already ready. We can make use of Ansible server itself. Yes. Uh, go to Andalike repositories. Not this, the, uh, yeah, and like you are under git.doc. Uh, go to github.com slash and like. We are going to a particular repository. Uh, change the link in the above in the URL. Or, yeah, or click the and like also. That is fine. So, fine. Yes, click there. Go to the repositories. Yeah, search Jenkins. Go to that. Yes, there is a document here which is called as Jenkins.docs. Both the doc uh, is same, like dot doc or dot docs. You can go ahead and like uh, download anything. Click on download. Yes. So this is a document which will uh, give you in detail uh, steps on how you can go ahead and install Jenkins. Uh, we will be seeing that as well. OK, so now uh, before we go ahead to this, come down. Uh, yes, mm, we have the steps in the repository itself. Go back to and like. Uh, click on Jenkins. Yes. No, click on Jenkins. Go to the repositories. Jenkins. Scroll down in the readme.md. Yes. Come down. Yes. You have these steps wherein it will help you to create your Jenkins. Okay. So go ahead and execute the commands. Sudo apt get update. As uh, Jenkins is dependent on Java because Jenkins is a part of a Java tool, we need to install the Java as well. Okay, that is where you are installing OpenJDK 8, but you can also go ahead and install the other versions as well. Yes. Click on Y. Yeah. Go ahead to the next command. Okay. Yeah, 
go ahead and install Jenkins. Wait, installation candidate. Package Jenkins is not available. Okay, what happened? Uh, mm, is that because uh, this is a Ubuntu 18 server only, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it is Ubuntu 18 only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. No, I'm just about the packages. Give me a second. Okay, go ahead and run the command again that I'm pinging you. It is, that is usually equal to your package. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it is giving you, okay, fine. Yeah, go ahead and execute the next command to see the Jenkins list. Not link actually, it should be the echo one that you executed before, right? Go ahead and give sudo apt hyphen get install Jenkins. Okay, wait. It is the package issue. Give me a second. Hyphen Q, hyphen O, Jenkins dot. Okay, give this. Duplicate hyphen Q, hyphen O. The organization, the package uh, is a little different. That's the reason. Okay. Go ahead and execute this. No, wait. Uh, you need to update it. Sudo apt get update first before the installation. Why? 
Weiter. It's installed, right? Uh, it's installing. Installed. Yeah, it got installed. Okay, go ahead and start the uh, Jenkins. Uh, go through the document like sudo system ctl start Jenkins. and see the status. Okay, so it is telling active above um, with a green color symbol, right? Yes, so it means that it is active, but we have, we have to set up the server URL as well, okay? So go ahead, next. Uh, before that, you need to make sure you are enabling the firewall. So use the command uh, sudo ufw allow at Yes, allow for 8080 because the default port where your Jenkins would be running is 8080. Yeah, see the status? What are the showing? Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, fine, fine. Keeping adding existing rule. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Did you give enable? After the enable, is it telling you skipping status? Yeah, allow the open SSH and then enable. Okay, sudo you have to be enable. Enable, yes. Yes. Okay, so now your firewall is active. Okay, let's go ahead and follow the next step. So now you will have to go to the default URL that is your local host, your IP address, and colon 8080 in the browser.
yes instead of local ip uh, copy no instead of ip address or domain name copy the public ip address of your machine the sansible machine in uh, aws cs yes copy this yes yeah replace that enter okay uh, wait so uh, copy the path which is given like slash where slash lib that whole address initial admin password which is highlighted in red copy that path yes go to the jenkins server yeah cat space the path so that you will get the password the initial password okay sudo you give no sudo you need to give sudo space cat and then the path enter yeah, copy that password yeah enter it in your uh, url continue yeah let it be the first one install suggested plugins yes we'll take a little bit of time to install the plugins ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊ yeah uh, go ahead and give the username as admin admin better yeah you can go ahead and give anything uh, should yeah, we give email address make sure uh, at the rate is present you can give any to me email address so yeah that's it huh? yeah your jenkins is ready now uh, start using jenkins okay <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah so uh, we are at the jenkins uh, page wherein it will help us to go ahead and create several uh, projects okay so in jenkins why we will be using jenkins is because if you want to automate the ci and cd flow okay so one such option is pipelines apart from pipelines we can also go ahead and do the same tasks using jenkins as well okay so um, to your left hand side there are a couple of um, things that you need to understand whenever you are going ahead and working with jenkins the first thing is new item refers to the project and it has different project types okay so usually this can be called as a project or as a job as well so when you click on that yes so here you can go ahead and give a name uh, give demo project and you can see the list of different types of projects you are allowed to create right like your freestyle pipeline multi configuration project or if you want to create a folder which acts as a container or if you want to log in to your github organization and if you want to create a multi pipeline branch as well okay based on uh, these are the different types you have not only these types you can also have uh, other types of projects say for example if you want if you're going to work with a java project which is dependent on maven then you will have to install that particular plugin so that it would give you an option to go ahead and uh, work with a java projects Maven is a build tool or re or uh, release? No, Maven no, is Maven. a package tool. Like, uh, Maven is used to build, package your build actually, because uh, the source code will be written in Java language. In order to build that particular source code, you would require Maven goals. Okay, we would be seeing we'll a sample seeing project where you will be using Maven goals, and uh, we will be seeing how to install the Maven plugin as well. Okay. Yeah. So, can I hit on okay? Uh, go ahead and create a freestyle project for now. Yes. Click on okay. So, once you uh, go ahead and select the project, you will get the default uh, configurations with respect to that project. So, these are the general one. So in general, you can see there are multiple options like based on the scenarios that you would be getting, you would be going ahead with all these options. Like if you want to discard the old bills or if you're going to use a GitHub project or if you want to disable this project based on all these settings. OK, the next section is about the source code management, which is usually called as SCM. OK, so uh, the source code management supported is your Git and subversion. Git also refers to your GitHub uh, link or your Azure repos link or your GitLab link as well. OK, so mostly we will be using Azure repos link only because we want to uh, refer to the code that is there in Azure uh, repos. Azure DevOps Azure repos. OK. So right now give none because we will be seeing Git a bit later after we see a simple um, execution using a build step okay so the next part would be your build triggers so, so we have uh, we have added the project from which the code has to be picked up right so once the code is referenced the next step would be to go ahead and build it as we have seen in our build pipeline also right so in order to trigger the build like um, if any if you want to uh, automatically trigger the build as we saw the triggers in uh, pipelines the same way you can go ahead and use these many build triggers okay like if you want to uh, build it on a certain schedule on a time you can use build periodically or if you want to use a uh, github hook like whenever if there is an event happening like if you are going to push to a repository or if you are going to raise a merge request uh, on all those action events if you want to make this build trigger then you can go ahead and use the build triggers okay and then the next one would be to use your built environments okay so this build environment will be useful whenever you are managing two to three workspaces because whatever projects you create inside this 
uh, Jenkins will ideally create a workspace inside your Jenkins server. OK, so we will be seeing where all these projects will be stored in Jenkins server. OK, and then um, as a build environment, if you want to prepare your environment before that by using your secret files like your uh, Azure Vault or any uh, secret keys, you can go ahead and use that here. OK, and then uh, come down the important section here would be the build. OK. So here build is similar to what we have seen in uh, Azure pipelines as well. So go ahead and click on add build step. So wait, so these are the uh, build steps that is by default given without any plugins. But when we keep on adding the plugins based on the project requirements, say for example, right now I don't see a Maven project uh, uh, option, right? So I cannot go ahead and run my Java project. Uh, even if I give the URL which has the uh, like the GitHub URL which has the Java code, it will not be able to build it because it does not have the plugin in place. OK, so once you keep on adding it, you will get the series of tasks here in terms of build similar to how we have added the Terraform task or the Ansible task in pipeline. OK, so for now what we will be doing is we will be taking a simple uh, shell script command because uh, the Jenkins server is based out of Ubuntu server. We cannot use a Windows batch command. That's where we will be using execute shell command. OK, so go ahead and click on execute shell. Yes. So here we will be giving a simple uh, message echo space in the double quotes. Give hello world. OK. Yes, so come down. You can also make use of environmental uh, variable. That's where you are seeing a link to have the list of uh, available environment variables as well. OK, so this is about your build like in build. What do you want to do? Do you want to build the project or do you want to execute some script? What do you want to do in the build step? OK, so the next step would be uh, the post build actions like do you want to store the artifacts or do you want to notify a few users on completion of your build? So those are the actions that you would be performing on post build. OK, so these are the um, sample uh, post build actions like email notification or a git publisher or even if you want to have the uh, step as archive the art artifacts because uh, in pipelines we have seen that we are going to use publish artifacts which has the drop type we are normally using even if you want to have the same feature here you can go ahead and use the uh, achieve the uh, archive the artifacts okay come down uh, let's not add a post build actions now because uh, we will be seeing with different projects like your dotnet project maven project and node project as well so that you will know the differences between executing of all these three uh, projects and also the respective post build actions. OK, for now, go ahead and save it. Yes, so once you save, this is the um, options that you get. Like what is the workspace? Well, workspace is usually a folder that is created inside your Jenkins. And what is your recent changes as well? OK, for now you don't have any workspace because we have not yet built it. Right, we did not uh, build it. So go back to the dashboard. How to link the project from our uh, source code to here? Uh, you have uh, the source code management there. Right now we are using none because we are going to see the build step on executing the shell script. Otherwise, you can select the respective repository git or SEM. If you select git, you will have the options to enter your URL and credentials, which we will be seeing later. OK. This is a sample project. After that, we will go ahead and see the uh, GitHub project as well. Uh, go ahead and click on demo project. Yeah, now uh, to your left hand side, you see several options like your status, changes, workspace, build now. The important thing is your build now because this is uh, how you're going and creating your runs in the Azure pipelines, right? So similarly, if you want to run this particular pipeline uh, or the job, you will click on build now. Go ahead and click on build now. 
Yes. So uh, yes, in the build history, you can see that there is an entry here. OK, to see what has happened, like what is the output? Uh, if you want to see, click on that. Go to the console output. To your left hand side, you see something called as console output. Yes. So here you can see what is actually happening inside that particular task. OK, so here it is telling you that started by administrator and there was a um, workspace created for this project as demo project. And what did this project do? It had a task to uh, print the hello world. That is the message you are getting from this pipeline it means from this job. OK, so this is this was a simple project to understand how you can go ahead and create the project and how where you need to go in order to execute some scripts or some build step. OK, so the next thing is let's go ahead and create one more project wherein we are going to use the GitHub URL or you can even create the like you can even edit the same project. Yeah, go ahead and click on new item. Rather, yes. Uh, yeah, demo project Azure repos or something. Anything. Yeah, click on freestyle project. So here, uh, Ganesh, as you asked, uh, asked as well. So here you have the source code management. Right now it is selected none. If we are going to use the GitHub's uh, source code, we can go ahead and give Git. Here you need to give the URL. OK, so let's go ahead and copy the URL of Azure uh, repos organization. Yes, so here you can reference any of the code. So do you have any other uh, code? Did I give you dot net uh, project any time? Ramesh. Yeah, I think uh, mm, trying to test it is there. Not sure. mm. I think this was created for repositories. Thing, right? Mm. Yeah, one minute. Click on the repository about Terraform, about, uh, about that, uh, after files, yes. In case if you have uh, more repositories, it will list you out here. Oh, if not, no. uh, that's okay. If not, that's okay. I'll give you the link uh, so that you can go ahead and use it for now. So I'm going to give you a link of .NET project. OK. Yeah, here it is there. Yes. Ah, that project exactly right. Yes, go to that project. Yes. Uh, click on clone. Copy the URL. But you need to make sure you are providing the um, credentials as well. Okay. Go to, go back to Azure repos. Generate Git credentials. Yeah, this should be your username and that should be your password. Okay. Yes, come here. Uh, click on add. Jenkins. Yes. So here username and password kind is username and password, but you can also have several other kinds as well, like your tokens or secret key and all that.
yes give the password Okay, select from the drop down credentials none. Yes. So that your error will go. That means it has validated. Okay. So here you can go ahead and provide the additional branches like right now uh, the default is uh, the master branch to go ahead and build it like in case uh, later onwards whenever you're working on production environment if they want you to filter based on different branches you can go ahead and click on add branch and give the additional branches. Not only that, even if you see the advanced settings here, uh, the above one below your credentials, the advanced, yes, you can go ahead and give the reference specification as well, like uh, based on your uh, origins that we will be that we have uh, discussed in um, Azure repository, right? Whenever you are going to push uh, or push or check out a branch, then you need to set that branch as a origin, right? So you can give those reference specification as well. But giving the branch specifier would be an easier way. Okay, if you want to know how to use it, click on the question mark. Yes, click there for the reference specification. This is the definition on how you can go ahead and use that particular field. Okay. Uh, go ahead and click on save. Let's not use the use uh, reference specification. Yes, but now we have not added any of the uh, plugins which will help us in running the .NET project, right? This is a .NET project. For this, you would need a post build action called as MS build because using MS build only, you can go ahead and uh, build your project, right? So for that, first we will have to install the plugins. Only then the option will be available for you in the build. Okay, so for that, go back to dashboard. Click on manage Jenkins to your left hand side. Yes. So here are the configuration uh, settings. OK, like if you want to change anything with respect to your Jenkins server as an administrator, you will have the full access to go ahead and configure several things. So right now we are interested to go ahead and see how you are, uh, how to install the plugins, right? So go ahead and click on manage plugins. Scroll down. You see an option called as manage plugins. Yes. So here uh, you can see all the plugins that are available for your um, account. OK, so these are the default one. Yes, go ahead. Click on that. Uh, check click the checkbox. Check. Uh, yeah, check the box. So these are the available ones which are not installed in the machine. Uh, the one which is in the tab called is installed are the installed one. OK, yes, uh, MS. There should be no space, I think. Hit enter after MS. Yes, select the check that box. Yes, install install without restart. So it is getting added to your Jenkins server. OK, so this is how you can go ahead and search the relevant plugins which is required for you to go ahead and um, install it for your particular project. OK, so let's uh, continue tomorrow. I have a call at nine. OK, so. Um, OK, so stop the machine uh, Ramesh so that we can continue tomorrow also. It's instead of terminating. If you terminate, we will have to again install the Jenkins uh, into this. Yes, please. In every machine, your voice is low, Ganesh. Very low. Yes. Okay. In every machine, we have to install the same things like MS Build or all the things. Yes. 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 But usually, the Jenkins server will be or uh, like only one server for a company. One or yeah, one server based on the clients like that. 
you have to install it for a server okay no yeah. one thing another uh -huh. thing that uh, suppose you are uh, here this is a ubuntu machine right we have Correct. to we have installed this one in the ubuntu machine right suppose we are installing in the that we windows machine or linux machine mm uh -huh. is it some uh, that will be affected to uh, all other uh, that to machine or not in the one server uh you mean to say you want to install jenkins in another in other os as well yes is it possible you can do it not? yes okay. you can do no, it no. on ubuntu one, one more question suppose yes. we have different machines in a one server uh, that to be one we have one um, uh, cloud Mm -hmm. we have actually installed different machines are there so we have to mm -hmm. that to be separate machines so that to we have to install there or no, for I one subscription one... one for one subscription we have to install only only whatever the machine is there we can install and we we can handle all the applications from there or not yes yes you can handle like you can uh, make one server to act as jenkins and you can go ahead and install multiple projects that means create multiple jobs and projects inside the jenkins to work okay. for the company usually uh, even in the production environment we will have only one jenkins server to act as production and we will have multiple projects created in it okay okay Uh, how to stop um, to stop uh, no 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 need to stop here uh, go to the aws console and stop it there okay once you restart it i think only the ip address will change okay yeah yeah thanks thanks everyone let me know if you guys have any doubts thank you <laughs> 